to Breath of Life Christian Center Wednesday evening Bible study with Dr. Sammy Holloway. Read on your word tonight for the for the, being able to come out and fellowship with the saints of God, to feed on the word of God. We are open tonight for whatever you want to put into our hearts. We will keep it and carry it throughout this life so that we can always be calling upon your word. We're praying now for every person that's, that's on their way here. Then we're praying for those who are uh, in, this, in the ministry here, but gone and having fun. <laughs> Praise God. We hope they have a, a, a blessed time this week. We, be, we pray that they be safe in all the things that they do. And we now, Father, have come here to feed on this word, and we're going to con, con, give the ministry of this word over to you, spirit, soul, and body. And all the people of God would say, Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, we've been dealing on this little series for a while. Uh, good, good, uh, God's generic plan for you. Uh, no, you know, it, you know, a lot of people don't know. God sent us in here for a, pur a purpose. So that uh, that made it definite that we needed a plan. So God is the gives a person that he he sends us for purpose, and he knows we to to receive our purpose and walk in it. We have to have a plan. Amen. So we get out, get all our plans from the word. Amen. Uh, so we, we've been talking about the, 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 these later days, that, the, that plan that God has for us. And we are dealing with the part of it now that we talk about holiness. And uh, y'all know that's me. I, I love to talk about it. And I, I walk in it as much as I can. And that's all the time. Cause it doesn't, doesn't anything come up that you have to get out of holiness. <laughs> you might have to, you might have to bow down to some things or to some people, or you know, I don't, I don't mean bow like that, but uh, you know, just let them have their, their own little place and do what they're gonna do without you getting all out of all out of sync. You know, Amen. So uh, we we left last time. We were, we were talking about uh, how God thought, con, con, uh, thought concerning Old Testament holiness. Uh, uh, you know, when I say Old Testament holiness, you find the word holy more in the Old Testament than the New. But you find it quite a few times in the New. But God wants us to know and, and never forget that God is holy. Amen. You hear a lot of people say, God is love. That's, that's right. Uh, and they talk about the things that God is, but they forget that God is a, is a holy God. Amen. He said he's holy. <laughs> he tell you, tell, tell you point blank, he, he's a holy God. And a lot, of, a lot of people don't know God is a jealous God. He, he's a jealous God. He doesn't want but one people messing with him. <laughs> Jesus came into the earth, and God began to make an, another man, another Adam. And he put all people now that's born again, he put, them, put us in that man. He put us in that in, in, in that uh, man that he's he's making up now, filling up for time for times to come, and we 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 want to each be what, uh, always aware of the fact that we are in the body of God, the body of Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. And if, if we do that. We'll always be remembering we are a part of the, the last Adam. Yeah. And the last Adam is Jesus. Get that in there. Amen. 
what is it, First Corinthians uh, 15, that round, down around 40, 45, 45th chapter, somewhere in there, that, that a last Adam came in here. The first Adam messed it up. The last Adam came and fixed it up. Amen. 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 So we're going to go on into it tonight. It's a little warm in here, you know. I can take this off. That, that probably would be better, wouldn't it? <laughs> Y'all know it's, it's warm when I'm warm. <laughs> Put that over there. Let's turn our Bibles to Leviticus. Leviticus, uh, hmm. uh, Go back to 11, Leviticus 11. Hmm. I'm setting my, my Bibles up here. Leviticus 11. And we'll go down to the uh, Chapter well, chapter eleven, verse forty-four. When you get there, say Amen. 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 Now uh, we had talked about how God th thought concerning the Old Testament, uh, the people back there. We, we you know, we we talked about. God started off with a few people. Uh, he, he chose out the Jews when he when when he got started, not not way back there, but when he got got uh, ready to bring them out of Egypt and things like that. He he chose the Jews, and he said he chose them because they were a few. They were a few, and and uh, uh, God always starts with smallness and then work up. To greatness, he saw us small most of the time and work up to greatness. And uh, he was telling them, he he took them not because they were a big a big uh, race, but because they were few. And we went and looked at that last week. Y'all remember that? Well, we better go back and look at that again. Praise the Lord. <laughs> you week, week before that, okay? Yeah. Uh, he said that, let's, well, I'll read it for you. Let's go to First Chronicles then and, and catch up with it. First Chronicles 16, 19. Let me know when you get there. It says, I'm going to get to the King James here. It says, when you were, well, that's the Amplified, stay there. <laughs> When ye were but few, even a few, and strangers in it. So he's talking about the land of Canaan now. But he, he's letting them know that, that, that they were few when he started with them. He look, at, look at Psalms 105. Verse 12. When they were but few, when they were but, but a few men in number, yeah, very few, and strangers in it. That's when he started working Abraham and, and Abraham's descendants and all those folks. He started to grow in those very few. Those very few God started growing them. And he, drew, he grew, grew, began to grow them 
so that they could become examples for, the, for us, examples for the church. Uh, ultimately, he, he was looking at the church when he took them and st began to, to be their God and nobody else is in the earth. So he, he used the Jews to be a, an example for the church, how we are to act. And so it's more action in the Old T Testament. The Bible talks about more action things. Than it, than it is in the New Testament. And those, those, those actions and experiments, experiences and things, God used them to show us or to give us an example of how to, how to work with God in, in certain situations. That's why we, we go back and we read the story of the Hebrew boy, uh, uh, Daniel, and uh, we'll read it. God is setting up some things to where we follow those people back in that old covenant. We follow their actions. We can come out using the word of God. The, the, the New, the new uh, Testament come out using it, but we can be looking at those people. See, look at David and all those wonderful works he did and all, all that kind of, because God wants us to work, work too, to do work in the earth as well. Amen. And he wants us to all have some testimonies Amen. as well. Amen. 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 And he's, God is constantly in, in, uh, enlarging his, his children. Mm -hmm. See, uh, uh, he's, we are con uh, he's constantly enlarging his children. God want, to, want to, the, the whole body of Christ, he want, he want the body of Christ to be full. And that's when he's coming home. Now, nobody know where we are now. I don't know, you don't know if you're working at the knee or the, you know, but God coming when we are full. Amen. So let's go back now and go on from where we started. We know that God started with a, with a, a few of them. Now let's go back to Leviticus, Leviticus verse 11. Chapter 11, uh, verse 40, chapter 11, verse 44. Everybody with me? Okay, uh, now, why did, why did we say that God, uh, well, let's, let's read this first, though. Uh, verse, verse 44 and 45 out, out of chapter 11. He says, for I am the Lord your God. Ye shall therefore sanctify yourselves, and ye shall be, what? Holy. For I am holy. Neither shall ye defile yourselves with any manner of creeping thing that creepeth up on the earth. For I am holy. I am the Lord, rather, that bringeth you up out of the land of Egypt to be your God. Mm -hmm. Ye shall therefore be holy. So God said, He wants us to he, uh, uh, we, we, he wants us to be holy because he is our God and he is holy. Amen. Now that's, that's said in the Old Testament and in the New. Amen. First Peter, uh, what is it? 3.15 I believe. First Peter something you don't have to turn over there. Uh, it's uh, First Peter 1.15. 1 yeah. And God just, just said, be ye holy. That's the New Testament. Be ye holy because I'm holy. So if you want to hang with God you got to hang how? Holy. Oh, yes. That's why so many people, so, and Christians, Christian people, don't hang with God. They don't, they don't, they don't know how to deal with God. They, 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 you know, they, they don't know how to approach God. And uh, that's because we, we don't hear enough holiness uh, ministering going on. 
Uh, so God wants, wants, wants us to be holy. Amen. He wants all, all mankind to be holy. So he says, uh, 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 for I am the Lord. Now, and, and, and he says this a lot of times too. And he, he goes on and he says, uh, for I, I am the Lord that bringeth you up out of the land of Egypt to be, to be your what? God. So God doesn't want us to have any other gods. Amen. I'm going to let that simmer. God doesn't want us to have any other God. And we can't, you know, we can't take our cars and make a God out of it. Something becomes a God when, it, when, when you have something ahead of it. When you put that thing ahead of God, you, you've come in, coming up with, with another God, see. God doesn't want any, anything to, to, to be ahead of him. Amen. 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 So he said, I brought you up. I brought you out. See, you came into the body of Christ. God brought us out of sin and, and sickness and disease and all of that kind of stuff. He brought us out because he wants to be our God. Yeah. So if he says, I want to be your God, and he says this in Scripture too, and I, I, you know, there, there are no other God. See, he, he wants us to be God. I mean, you know, each one of us, to, to, he wants to be our God. But we, we ought to begin to get closer to him because he told us to be, be, a, be a God, too. Amen. He said uh, 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 in, in 8, what is it? Psalms 8, I think, somewhere in there. He talks about we, we are little gods, little S gods. Anybody ever read that? <laughs> he said, you're a little S god. See? So get a hold of that. God brought me out sin and all that thing because he wants me to be his God. I mean, he wants to, he wants to be our God. Amen. He wants us to follow him. He wants us to love him. He wants us to just, just begin to hang with him. I like to say hang because people, that's where we talk now. Uh, so get a hold of this. God want to be with, everybody say, God wants to be with me. God wants to be with me. And he wants me to be with him. He wants me to be with him. Amen. Amen. So, so we got to get a hold of that. We got to get that in, inside of us. Holiness uh, facilitates uh, purpose, this purpose that God is God and he wants us to be and he wants to be our, our God. Now, let's, let's follow up on that. Let's look at Numbers 40. We're going on with new stuff now. Numbers 40. Is that it? Numbers? Numbers 15, forgive me. <laughs> Numbers 15, verse 40. Well, I'm going to back up to verse uh, 39, falling down from there. He says, and it shall be unto you for a friend that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. And what? Do them. Do them. Do, 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 there's nobody in here now think that us doing the, the, the commandments of the Lord is, is, is we don't, you know, that we don't have to do that. We have to, we have to walk in the commandments of the Lord, but we walk in them in love. But they're there. They're not, they're not going anywhere. Matter of fact, uh, uh, that, 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 that's, that's what you're working when you're working love. You're working those commandments. You're not stealing, on, stealing. You're not killing. You're not all that kind of stuff. See? You're walking in love with folks. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he goes on to say, well, I'll start back. And it, it shall be unto you for a friend that ye may look upon it. And, and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them that ye may see not after your own heart, your own eye, that ye may see not after your own heart and your own eyes 
after which ye used to, to go a hurry, that ye may remember yes. and do all my commandments and what? Be holy unto your God. All my commandments. Now, and all those commandments, right here he's telling them to, to, to they, they need to keep them. But we know that when we loving people, because we've been gone, we're into a new covenant. See, yes. we're the new covenant. When we loving people, that means that we are working out God's commandments. Amen. You're getting, you're getting them worked out then, see. Amen. Be fulfilled. Yes, fulfilling was a good word. And uh, God, God talks about in the John's, John's epistle, he, you know, he talks about it all the time. He, whatever you do, do it in love. Yeah. Jesus, had, Jesus brought one commandment, and that was to love people as he loves us. Amen. And, and, and uh, you're going to be keeping all those commandments when you begin to walk in the perfect love of God. Yes. Amen. Right? Amen. This, 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 this is not new, is it? <laughs> Amen. Uh, uh, uh. See, Jesus said in John 15, uh, John uh, 15, what is it, 12? Let's go there and look at that. John 15, 12, I believe. Yeah, what is that? John 15, 12. John 15, 12, yes. Everybody there? Yes. He says, uh, this is my commandment. Now, see, this is the one commandment. Remember, you know, it, God, God this, uh, commanded Jesus in, in uh, Galatians 3. No, is it, what is it? No, it's, it's the, one of the, the uh, epistles, yeah. He, got, he, he, he commanded Jesus, uh, I mean, uh, us, to, to walk in Jesus' commandment. Mm -hmm. And this is where Jesus' commandment is. Mm -hmm. This is my commandment that you love what? One another as I have loved you. As I have loved you. That's, that's the only commandment we got now. And it, that, that encompasses all of those commandments, the Ten Commandments and things like that, and, and, and other commandments, but except all of that other little stuff, killing the, the, the animals and all that stuff. We don't have to do all that kind of stuff. But we, if we walk in, just remember, if we're walking in, in love, we are walking in the commandment. If I'm not walking in, in, the, in uh, love, then I'm not obeying the commandment. Amen. You're breaking some commandment when you don't love people. Amen. Right. Amen. So let's go back now. He said, this is my commandment. Let's go back to where we were. Numbers. Yeah. Numbers uh, 15, was it? So he said, and we'll read this. He said that you remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your God and be holy unto your God. I am the Lord, your God, which brought you up, which brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. Then he says it again. I am the Lord, your God. Now, can y'all hear that? And ringing out in there, Amen. that I don't want you to have another God. I'm your God. Yes. Now think about it. God still has promised that uh, that that's to us. When we when we are uh, uh, whatever times we are thinking God is not with us and all this kind of stuff, we got to fall back on and say, God said, I am your love. Amen. I am your God. Yes. Uh, 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 and and Really believe that. Amen. How do you how do you miss God in the Word by 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 not believing? Whatever you don't really believe in the in the Word of God, you're missing God. 
and, and you're missing the things that God has for you. Amen. It has, to, it has to be believed before God can do anything else with it. Amen. And a, a lot of times, see, we, 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 we think we're calling on God, but we are getting a little mad or angry with God and all this kind of stuff. But, but remember, God is our God. And he, that's what he came, came to, to get us and, and put us into the the. the, the the, the word of God and put us into the, the family of God. We are in his family. Yes. And he wants, and he, and he said, I, I, I am your Lord. I am your God. Mm -hmm. and then he said, be ye, be ye uh, uh, holy. Yes. Amen. So don't care what anybody else has, has to say about it. You be holy. Because yes. there are a lot of folks here now teaching people you can't be holy. Mm -hmm. And you know you're dealing with a, a, an antichrist when, when folks go to saying that. You can't be holy. Amen. If you, if you, if you, if you can't be holy, God wouldn't have no, any purpose for, for repentance. Right. Repentance lets us know that I can go and do it another way. Whatever the way he is. But you can be. We just need to take this word of God and walk it out and set our hearts and minds to be holy. Amen. How many of you know you won't get it done if you don't set your heart and mind? That's it. Amen. Amen. Whatever you can set your heart and mind on, you can just about have it if you walk in it long enough. <clears throat> Amen. He said, that ye remember and do all my commandments and be, ye ho and be holy unto your God. Amen. He said, I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am the Lord your God. Man, that's some good stuff right there. That you, I mean, that's comfort. That's comfort. Amen. I am the Lord your God. Do y'all realize God is saying that? I brought you up so I can what? So I could be your God. Now, all all is left is we that we have to let him be. I brought you up to be your God. Now let me be. See that's 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 can you see that that following it? Now let me be your God. Because you can't stop him from being it. You can just you know, you can you can stop him from from doing things for you by not being. Amen. Now, uh, let's look at Deuteronomy 14. See how many places this is. Deuteronomy 14, 2. He said, for, the Lord, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be what? A peculiar. a peculiar folk. See, we shouldn't act like all these other folk. That, that, that when, when, when we make Jesus Christ our Lord, we're supposed to change how we live. Amen. Yes. Amen. Matter of fact, we, matter of fact, we don't change it. God does. Because the, the way we live becomes new to us. We come back in as a baby stage, pretty much. And then you got to grow in it. Amen. See, but, but he said, uh, and the Lord had chosen th thee to be a peculiar people. And most Christians are now trying to keep from being peculiar. Because, you know, you look strange. Some things God, the, the, some things the Bible tell you to do. And a whole lot of times you be wanting to do things that you know the Bible tell you to do in, in uh, talking with people. And you get this peculiar feeling. That devil bringing that co 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 peculiar feeling to you and making you want to not even approach the people that God is unctioning you to approach. Y'all understanding me? So if you're afraid to be peculiar, 
you know, uh, you're going to miss a whole lot of obedient, obedient times to, to God. You should, you know, you, you're going to miss a whole lot of times you won't obey what God is auctioning you to do. That's how, how, how we witness to people, the, the auctioning of the Holy Spirit, you know, until, until you really get some boldness in you. But until then, you, you, you'll be there and them, those little funny things will be happening to you. You know, I guess it'd be nervous and, how, and you don't know how to approach the folk and all of that kind of stuff. But, but, but God, God really has chosen us to be peculiar. And now, because we, we, got, we got God's spirit in us. Well, how did we get God's spirit in us? Just by being born again. Just, just, just by inviting God into our life. And his spirit, in, and how, do you, how many of you know that, that the spirit of God is going to be a little peculiar to a bunch of hell raisers? They're going to be a little peculiar, right? Peculiar. You're going to act a little strange. Your people, your people you hang with, or you used to hang with, or whatever, <laughs> you're gonna, they, they not going to be able to understand you. <laughs> Especially when you make up your mind that you are going to do what the Word says to do, regardless of anything else. You're you going to become a peculiar. That so much so, it's been a long time with me now, but so much so until you, your friends are tell you, get on, go on way around me now. You know, they don't say it like that. They don't say it that nice, but, <laughs> but uh, they don't, they don't, cause they don't understand you. And it's, don't get mad at them because it was you who left them. They didn't leave you. When we get born again, people will think, you leaving them. Amen. Uh, 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 I mean, I mean, uh, they'll they, they think they, they, what, how do I want to say this now? I, I know it like this. When you get born again, you leave the people. Because if it weren't, were not so like that, you would still be hanging with them. But something happened to you. Something new came inside of you. And you don't want it when, when they say certain phrases and things like that, it, 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 it kind of hurts you on the inside. And it, it get to the point to where they don't want to be with you. You really don't want to be with them either. Y'all going to help me? In it? <laughs> get a hold of that. So I'm trying to get you to see now, don't be, don't be swayed by how you go to feeling in things when you know you, you, you are doing something for, 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 for God. Amen. Amen. Don't, don't, get, to, don't get crazy and, and think you peculiar because you are. Think you're not peculiar because you are. And so, so many people go telling you, you think you Jesus and all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, you want who you think you are? Jesus. Well, yeah, I'm connected. You're connected to him. That's what you got born for. To be in his family. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Now think about this. He said, and the Lord has chosen thee. That's me. Everybody said, that's me. God has chosen me. To be a peculiar people. Unto him. Above all the nations that are up on earth, God said you shouldn't look like any other nation on the earth. Mm. Get a hold of that. Mm. Now the Jews didn't look like any other nation on the earth while God was using them to be our example. They didn't act like any other nation. The God that they had, as a matter of fact, when God ran, walked through that Canaan land and, and, and at the end of that time when, when uh, Moses and Joshua had cleansed that thing, uh, 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 the, the people went, they, the people started calling God, the, the, the Jews God, the real God. The, you know, uh, th they started saying God, they, they, the Jews got a God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. 
and they and then they 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 kept on hanging on to their their God, and they know that the Jew the Jews had a God that was above their God, yes. but they couldn't give him up because wasn't there nothing inside of it, inside of them, to pull them out and get, get, become a, a member of that other God, like they can't do it now. See, a whole lot of people, they'll tell you, uh, I ain't ready for God yet. See, I'm, not, I'm not ready yet. I'm a, and they'll say, well, God, God w w wants you to be saved. Uh, he'll t he'll uh, what make you be like, make you be saved like, like I, I, I he'll he'll make me be saved just like he made you. See, you gotta let them know then that God didn't make you do it. Yeah, Amen. you gotta cho choose yeah. it. Amen. You chose to be yeah. peculiar. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Amen. So don't 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 get strange don't get strange about being peculiar. Amen. 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 Uh, uh, now, where, where do we stop here? This is around 14. 14 and 2, yeah. Right. Let's, let's look at Leviticus 19. <laughs> 19, 2. It says, everybody with me? It says, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, and say unto them, Ye shall be what? Holy. holy. Why? For I, the Lord, your God, am holy. Amen. Amen. So, you can't read through all these, all these verses and then run from holiness. You got, you got to realize you got, God has, wants you to run to holiness, yes, amen. <laughs> not from it. And this is something God wants us to be. Think about it. He wants us to be like him. Yes. And he wanted those Jews to be like him. Mm. He wants the church to be like him. Amen. So why would God want, want uh, us or mankind to be like him if he didn't want you to be like him? Why would he invite you to be like him if he didn't want you to be like him? God not fickle, fickle man, he's not fickle man. He knows that he's calling you to him, to his family, to his lifestyle. God has a lifestyle. You ought to want to have to reach out for and then get mad at God because you can't get it. And nothing in this, in this earth that's stronger for us than God. He's a good God, too. Yes, now, we, we, we studied a lot, a lot out of the Old Testament right there. Let's, let's go over to the New. Uh, let's go to Romans chapter 12. You get over there and say amen. amen. Romans 12, 1. He says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Uh, I, I turned my eyes off trying to see this thing. I've got to catch up with it now. A living sacrifice. What? Holy. And to God. Living sacrifice, what? Holy. Acceptable. <laughs> holy, at my mind read, holy, acceptable unto God. Yes. Holy. So, in other words, God, you, you, you got to be holy before God wants to be, you to be acceptable. See? Mm -hmm. He said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. He's telling you what you got to do. Living sacrifice. Then the next step, what? Holy. Then the next step, 
to be, to be acceptable, holy got to come in there. Acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable, reasonable service. God say, this is just reasonable mm -hmm. for mankind to live this way. I'm God. Yes. I, I, I brought them out to bring them up, and, and I'm offering them my lifestyle. Thank you, He's offering them my life. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, I'm going to read that in the NLT. I, I put that down there for some reason. He says, And so, dear, bro dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy what? Sacrifice the kind he will find acceptable. This is a truly, this is truly the way to worship him. Amen. 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 Please, this, <laughs> Paul, well, Paul didn't, didn't, didn't do this. He wrote it, but the other folks changed it. But it's all good. It's all good. Amen. Uh, let me go back over there. Well, I'm gonna yeah, King James. So let's look at Ephesians 1, 4 now. Now, I might hang up for a, a long time in Ephesians. I love that book, Ephesians 1. Everything in Ephesians is good. <laughs> Y'all with me? One, four. Got it? Yeah. Uh, one, four. I can put one, one, four. Ephesians. Oh, man. Get out of here. There you go. Ephesians 1, 4. All right. He says, according as he had chosen us. Oh, Lord. Everybody say, God chose me. God chose me. Everybody say that. God, God chose me. God chose me. Yes. God chose me. Now you remember that remember that when the devil wanna come messing up stuff. God has chosen me. He's chosen us in what? He's chosen those of us who are in Christ. Yes. Thank you. According as he had chosen us in, in, in him before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. That we should be what? Holy, Holy and, without and without blame before him. How? In love. This, this is God. This is living comfortable with God. Comfortable with God. That we should be holy and without blame before him in love. So God wants us to be what? Holy people. Holy people. Uh, let's look at uh, what time is it? Y'all ain't get the time. This thing over here, zero. Just, just say zero. Did somebody? Gave me you gave me forty. Oh well, we done then, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, next time. Next time. All right, we'll stop at Ephesians one four next time. Thank you for joining our Wednesday night Bible study with our pastor, Dr. Sammy Holloway. We would like to offer you the opportunity to join the family of Christ. If you die today, will you go to heaven or will you go to hell? If you are not going to heaven, I would like to lead you in a simple prayer for salvation. It's very easy because God does not want to make it hard for you. Please repeat after me. Father God, 
I am a sinner. I come to you asking for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in my heart that Jesus is your son and that he died on the cross for me. And I believe you raised him from the dead. I confess now with my mouth that Jesus is Lord and I invite you into my life. And now I am clean and made new by the blood of Jesus. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Welcome my sister, welcome my brother to the body of Christ. If you repeated this prayer and believe in your heart, you are now in the family of Christ. And we have a short book we would like to give to you for your next steps. You may get this book by calling our church, Breath of Life Christian Center at 901-373-7219 and give us your information and we will send it directly to you. Or you can come by the office at 3795 Fraser Raleigh Road in Memphis, Tennessee, 38128 and pick it up. We look forward to hearing from you. At this time, we would also like to give those who will the opportunity to give into this ministry. This is good ground and there are five ways to give and you may choose what is best for you. You can give in person during our regular service on Sunday mornings at 9.30 a.m. or come by the office Tuesday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at 3795 Fraser Raleigh Road in Memphis, Tennessee at 38128 or text the word GIVE to 865-325-4913. Or you may mail your offering to Breath of Life Christian Center at Post Office Box 281394, Memphis, Tennessee 38168. Or give online at www.bolcc.org slash give. Thank you again for joining us. Check us out on BOL TV via YouTube. Leave a comment or thumbs up. We want to hear from you. And remember, Jesus is Lord and holiness is the lifestyle that reign in this earth.